So we got a couple things to talk about today. As much as I want to troll and have fun and put on the Black Air Forces and throw on some young boy, I'm gonna just keep it factual and chill. Um, so let's just start with Dante because he actually got barbecued by literally every single person. It seems like he learned his lesson. You know what I mean? He apologized. So let me just break down what happened. The other day, FaZe Clan recruited a girl named Grace who I exposed and I said, you know, she joined because of Stranger Things and yada, yada, yada. And Dante, he came out on Twitter and said, really disappointed some people I call friends hating on the new FaZe recruit, especially girls in the gaming community. You all hate on each other the most and it's sad. And then this guy responds who actually Actually just like kicked everything off if it wasn't for this guy responding none of this would have you were never an og phase member your say is biased and irrelevant and then this is where dante kind of shot himself in the foot and he said where are they at right now you, you done fucked up dante you done fucked up and then my homie sent me that tweet in my text and then i just responded the first thing that came to my mind are you fucking dumb? But Banks ended up translating my tweet for me and he said, not participating in the sellout clown show that FaZe Clown has become, not sure what these takes say about you, but the name FaZe only has any sliver of meaning left because of what we built and you're using it. This is the problem. You're all just here to squeeze every last dollar out of FaZe and have zero respect for the brand. It's all shameless promotion, pandering to a non-existent audience and pretending like it's a team effort. Nobody would ever argue in favor of this version of FaZe. It's so disingenuous to the point it makes us all sick and we're the only ones, unfortunately, who are interested in preserving the history and protecting the brand. You know, everybody started going off on it from Alex to Doug. Doug actually smoked him oh my god and then dante went on stream and he said this when's the last time you saw any ogs at a meetup when's the last time you saw any ogs at cod events who cares i'm asking i'm asking a dead ass question whatever whatever your guys' beef with the man this was my thing is like i originally obviously wanted to roast him you know but i thought i would just go the route of educating him even though i feel like all these videos and everything should have educated him already and he should know what phase is like bro you've worked with these people you know who they are you know what lee's like you know what zach was like like or i don't know if you know what zach was like that guy was like just good cop bad cop for lee so lee didn't have to ruin his relationship with us he just sent his fucking bitch like you should know phase for what it is like you understand us working for phase who we're working for it's not for us it's not for you it's not for the community it's for these old white fucks. So that's all I'm saying. Like, you just got to understand it for what it is. That's what I wrote in his chat to him. Like, yeah, let's just keep working on the YouTube channel and get the channel cucked by a bunch of old fucks. Of course, like, you're being taken care of, right? Like, you got a house, you got brand deals. Your life's changed because of this. My life's changed too. For the worse, bro. Your life glowed up because of phase. My life, I've wanted to end my life because of it. So it's like, don't, we can't even compare that, bro. So don't act like, oh, why are they at this meetup or this sponsorship event for phase? Because they're robbing us, bro. Management side has nothing to do with supporting COD players. Valorant yes, players, it does. CS:GO players. Yes, it does. I'm, I'm bro. watching. I'm watching. I'm watching Tico stream his ass off supporting the CS:GO team. I love Tico. If Tico wasn't actually passionate about CS:GO, he wouldn't do that. Like he's not doing it for the COD people or the Rainbow Six. It's not about that. He just loves CS:GO. But don't act like he's doing it because he's just trying to support FaZe and like all oh, these are good people. Like no, bro. He loves Counter Strike. I'm sure he loves those guys. So that's why he's doing what he's doing. FaZe headquarters about how we can try and revive the FaZe YouTube. Guess who was there? Me, Chris, Jay, Adapt, Booyah, and, and nobody fucking else, bro. Yeah, bro. Like, really think about it for what is it. Why would anybody want to revive the channel to comply with these people so they can keep doing what's what they've already been doing? My entire thing is like, how to put an end to this entire structure, remain as transparent as possible, tell the community everything. But dude, it just doesn't work that way. That's why I mean Alex got into a fight in the first place is because he was helping them with YouTube. He was just saying, oh, I'm just gonna go to the warehouse and help them and take a salary. I'm like, bro, that's what's pissing me off. He didn't see it like that. He thought, oh, I just wanna work on YouTube. But I'm like, bro, no. Complying with them, working with them, trying to fix their job for them is what's going to continue to allow them to do that shit to us if we just stay quiet and keep helping them with everything and help them you know sell merch and help them do this and help them do that fulfill all their sponsorship they will never stop bro and they will continue to squeeze money out of our community and ourselves so i'm just not down for that and that's what it's about that's why this entire thing i've been doing is bigger than myself it's bigger than phase clan even it's about the whole structure and point but it's even points like this dante like to where we even caught astray like that is to why all this stuff of phases happened in the first place like nobody really has the respect for us that we should have had from corporate people to new talent they don't understand you really the dylan brooks of phase right now feels like the same energy is like dylan brooks telling lebron you have to come drop 40 or 50 on mass like are you insane dylan brooks i'm not trying to sound like a douchebag or this that but it's like bro it's not like you joined phase dolo like you know what i mean like you joined single-handedly and you were carrying shit you were the best out of the community and that's why i picked you up the nuke squad knows they joined because of swag they know that there's not a single one of them thinks they would have gotten phase without nuke squad i'm not trying to say that in a mean way or anything but it's like bro like you just got to be real with yourself and you also got to understand phase isn't giving you brand deals bro because they fuck with you or they think that you're the best or they think you're 
you're the biggest creator out there. It's entirely political. And this leads me to speak about why I leaked everything about Grace and why that even annoyed me. Other than the fact that there's no real mesh, that's obviously a huge part of it. It's just that I know it's all political. I know, like, I've seen what they do with you guys too, bro. Like, even with Nuke Squad, whenever they want a sponsorship or to appeal towards these brands, they always say, we need a woman. We need a person of color. We need all these things so we can get these deals. They wanted Gucci, so they want to get a woman. They wanted Nike, so they have to get people of color. That's why they do all of this. It's like my friend is black energy. Of course, I want to pick up people of color. Of course, I want to pick up women. Of course, I want to keep it as diverse as possible. It's just the idea of it. It's like, okay, fine. We want to get a girl. Let's get the best girl possible. And the person that fits with us the best. Not just to fulfill some sort of sponsorship, bro. And that's all you are, by the way, Grace. Just to keep it hunting with you. You know, like, bro, even my girlfriend, I met my girlfriend because she was supposed to be a face talent. And just so y'all know how real I am about this facing, I dubbed that recruit. I said, no, we're not recruiting her because she wasn't ready. I could never be biased when it comes to face clan. I only have to do what's better for face clan. Not if it ruins my relationship with people. Not if that person doesn't like me for it. Hell no. It's all about what makes sense. My only agenda is logic. And not like Bobby. Like I'm talking about actual like logic. And I'm like 99% sure she's represented by the same people that also talk to FaZe. So, whoa, I wonder how that happened, right? Another one of those like Hollywood things where they just like fake stuff. It's all smoke and mirrors and they just want you. That's why like I memed Ron in that one club. I'm like, bro, you know you don't know her or give a fuck, bro. They just told him, go stand over there, bro. Go talk to her. You know what I'm saying? Go shoot. Go shoot him. Go look normal. So this is what Grace said about me. Let's hear it. About me signing with FaZe is because FaZe Rain said that the only reason I was signed with FaZe is because I was on Stranger Things. Um, I'm sorry, sir. Were you in the meeting with us? That's my fucking boy, bitch! Like, that is literally my boy! None of us were! None of us were! It's a bunch of corporate people deciding who the FaZe fans want to see in FaZe. That's what I'm getting at. It's not people who know what the community wants. It's random boomers that are doing it politically for deals. Were you there? No, I've never fucking met you. I don't even know who the fuck you are! You think I want Stranger Things? I only know that one kid, Finny or whatever, and Billy Bobby Brown! I don't know you! Uh, but I get it. Honestly, like, she probably felt, like, hurt that I said, like, oh, she only got it off Stranger things which was true by the way but it probably made her feel like oh wow trying to make it sound like that's the only reason i got anything like bro it's just the truth like you don't have to get sad about it or get insecure about it i'm sure you're great in a million other different things but yes that is why you joined phase be real about it i'm sorry um and that is not why phase signed me yes it is like that is definitely how i got the meeting yes i will definitely give that credit that is how and then what sold them and then what sold them oh i met got the meeting but that is absolutely not suppressed for you Why guys down B. One enemy remaining. Was she yeah. the reason, things dog? that we spoke about in the meeting are why it happened. Oh, all the PR bullshit they told you? Like, yeah, we want to build around women and give them a space in the community so they feel like accepted. It's a male-dominated industry. If we put in women, yeah, girl rules. Shut the fuck up, bro. So, get fucking wrecked. To everyone saying that. Their to, Phoenix to makes real. Holy shit. <sighs> She shit on me back to the wheelchair i go i gotta watch it again Good. so get fucking wrecked <laughs> oh my god i just can't compete with that man i can't she she roasted me it's over grace i'm sorry all i want to say is you're golden valorant you make stranger things your entire personality even though you're only on one episode you found out about twitch through tumblr not only have you not hit a trick shot but you don't even know what the fuck that is when you were still playing with barbies i made my first million out of this industry and on top of it you're excruciatingly mid who i would never let touch me on my drunkest night get fucking wrecked